Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of slope and y-intercept, specifically how we can find these in tables, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a problem situation here. Fitness Club has a one-time membership fee and a monthly fee. We need to find the table below to determine these, these fees. So we've got the total cost for this gym after 3 months, 4 months, 8 months, 9 months, and 11 months. You might be thinking, what in the world does this have to do with slope and y-intercept? Because when we hear of slope and y-intercept, we should be thinking of this y equals mx plus b. But you know what? This is a linear relationship. Look, we've got x's and y's. We could just throw these onto a, a graph if we wanted to. We can say our months, right, is going to be our x. So we could put our months over here on our x-axis. We could put our cost right there on our y-axis, right? And so this one-time fee, well, here's the question. If you're going to have to pay something before you even walk into that gym, so if our months is zero, right? So our x equals zero, then what is our one-time fee? That's our y-intercept. So it's going to go up like this, we just don't know exactly what it's going to go up, but it's not going to start at zero because there's that one-time membership fee. So this is a linear relationship. So let's see if we can figure out, but there is no month zero. If this graph had a table had a month zero, then it'd be super easy, but it starts with months as three. So let's first figure out this monthly fee because that monthly fee, it's actually going to be your slope. So uh, there's two different ways we can do this. You see we've got two different concurrent months. We've got 3 and 4. We've got 8 and 9, right? So you can think, all right, so since those two are right next to each other, we can just figure out, well, how much does it increase from 84 to 99? That looks like a plus 15. Does that pattern hold true here? 159 to 174? Yes, it does. So your slope is 15. Or you can say your monthly fee is $15 a month. That's that slope of this line right here. But does this really work in our slope? Well, we know our slope, right? That's your change in y over your change in x. So it's going to be y sub 2 minus y sub 1, x sub 2 minus x sub, sub 1, Sometimes we think of that as rise over one, run. Your rise is your y coordinates up and down. Your run is your x coordinates side by side. Uh, so let's let's take some x's and y's that aren't right next to each other to see if this works. So let's just do this. Uh, all right. So let's do this 204 and this 99. Right. So let's say 204 minus 99, and then those coordinating x points are 11 and 4. Right, so 11 minus 4. So we've got 105 uh, over 7. And hopefully 7 times 15 makes 105, right? Because that's what we're looking for. So there we go. That's 5. There we go. That's 105. All right, so that does equal 15. So you could do it the long way. Or you could, you know, the long way would be doing this slope as change of y over change of x, or you can just find two concurrent months if you have them. Sometimes they won't give them to you. So that's our slope. How do we find our one-time membership fee? Well, let's just take this back, right? So if three, I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my graph. I'm going to say, well, three months was 84, right? So two months, one month, zero. We could just take that slope and we can now subtract 15, right? So 84 minus 15, and that's going to be $69 after two months. Now let's do 69 minus 15. It's going to be 54 after one month. And then we're going to take our 54 subtract that 15 and we're going to get our membership fee see we're just taking $15 away once we know our slope monthly fee we could just work backwards our one-time fee is $39 so if X is 0 our membership fee is going to be 39 and that is our Y intercept